you know, I would love to hear kind of how you overcame the challenge of failing an exam and, you know, kind of um, moved on to, you know, just get over that. <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 you know, it's, it's, you take it hard, uh, especially when you, you know, when you have never failed in anything in your, in your <laughs> college years. Uh, and so I'm like, okay, I, I have two master degrees. I never fail. I go to white class and I fail this test. Um, yeah. So you take it hard. And um, so I, I it, it was a moment that I said, okay, I'm doing this more as a hobby. Um, uh, maybe I, I just hit a level that is more for people in the wine industry. So I went through that thought. Uh, and, and then I just drink a couple of, you know, glass of wine and I give it another thought. And I said, well, I'm going to take D2. I asked the question, can I take D2 and see how I do in D2, which is I have a little bit more of background. Uh, and then I passed the, the D2 test and it kind of get the energy that I went and I, I took the D1 again. I'm still waiting for my results. So hopefully I don't become the one that I have to take D1 several times <laughs> and break that record. But um, uh, I think that... Um, I just decided that I could I could do it. That I just need to change my strategy, um, uh, put a little bit more time on learning the uh, the concepts and the applicability of those concepts, 